eternal realm, the realm of God. Huh? Did you get that? That is the most important place because before the everlasting realm. Right? And I told you the everlasting realm is a world of angels. It has a beginning, but it has no end. Eternity has no beginning and has no end. Did you get that? The heavenly realm is the realm where principalities and powers live. There are high security agents, sp spirited immigration officers, joint task force. Are you hearing what I'm saying? High mounted checkpoint for every transpassers. Now hear this. Have you ever wondered yourself why Jesus, before he was born, the angel came, Gabriel came, and said to Mary, Blessed art thou, Mary, that you shall bear a son. But the angel was taking permission to enter the activities of the spirit in a woman. Because it is not even legal for spirit to interact with a man without a permission. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, when you see somebody demonized, it means the person is not born again. A child of God cannot be possessed with evil spirit. You can only be witched. Demons can bewitch you. They can manipulate you. But you can never be possessed. Oh. Child of God, if you hear anybody say, that born again Christian is possessed. It's a wrong statement. It's an, it's, it's an accusation. And the Bible says that the devil is the accuser of the brethren. You cannot get born again and still be possessed. You can only be bewitched. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, if you read the Bible, Paul said, Who has bewitched you? Oh, ye foolish Galatians. So the platform of bewitching someone is being foolish. Say, I refuse it. Hmm. But the Bible says here that the realm that we are talking about, the Bible says, and Jesus ascended far above the heavens. That means he transpassed the territory of evil spirit and demons and ascended far above the heaven. Where is this above the heaven? He entered eternity, the realm of God. And the Bible says, he said to the disciple, all powers in heavens on earth has been given to me. I combined the two territories under my authority, under my jurisdiction, under my capacity, under my influence. I therefore give it to you. If you bind on earth, it is bound this earth. If you bind in the heavenlies, it is oh my god sit down are you understanding jesus combined the two realm tell the realm of the earth realm and of the eternal realm and of the everlasting realm he said this border checkpoints you have been having Whenever you pray, if you bind them, you will pass. They will not know you have passed their territory. All powers in heaven, on earth, has been given to me. It is under my jurisdiction. Are you proud Do you know why Jesus said this? Is because he overcame the devil. The Bible lifted the Bible says Satan lifted him up to the hill, up to the mountaintop, and said to him, If you can bow to me, I will give you all this thing because it has been given to me. Do you know why? Satan was seducing him. Many of you, Satan seduced you of what you already have. He made you to tell lies about what is your own. He made you to, to go into a particular sin that you know you have. 
He made you so that a young man can destroy your life as a lady. Not knowing that you have a husband. He made you tell you that I'm going to marry you and told you lies. Not knowing that. Satan always tell you lies about what you have. Do you know when Satan came to the garden? He said, did God say? Why is the devil asking the woman? Did God say? And the woman was bewitched by what she knew. Most of times, Satan can bewitch a child of God by what you know. And that is why the satanic movement in this, our contemporary world, is not in B.A. Palo. It's using the platform of the church. Because all you know is what he will entice you of. But ladies and gentlemen, hear this, this very hour. I wish to tell you that God has given us power through Christ because Christ died so that we may not be slaves to what we used to be. He said, he became poor that we may be rich. So we are not planning to be rich. There's no planning of being rich. We are rich. Because he said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Where is Christ Jesus? He ascended far above the heaven. And that is why Apostle Paul said, Casting down imagination, every kind of imagination that exalts itself above. We are dealing with every imagination that tells us we can't be rich, that is telling us we cannot succeed, that is telling us we can't finish our school, that is telling us we can't get married, that is telling us we can't succeed. Friend, listen to me. Jesus is Lord, and Satan can do nothing about it. We are not in a negotiation. We are not in a compromising mood. We are not soliciting for help. We are not at disadvantage. We are not refugees. We are not in the IDP camps. We are not under pressure. We know who we are. We know Christ lives in us. We can do all things. We know we are overcomers. We know we are more than a conqueror. We know we are winning the case. We know we are overtaking the enemy. Jesus is Lord. Satan can do nothing about it. Come on, give Jesus a shout. That is why God sent me to you. I am sent to you. And the reason why I am sent to you is to tell you, you are not at disadvantage. You are not soliciting for help. You are not a beggar. You are not living underneath the earth. You are living in the higher realm. In the higher realm where Jesus is living. Because the Bible says we die with him. We are resurrected with him. Then who are those that are looking for our life? Are they not wasting their time? We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Who has given us victory? Victory. We are victorious. Come on. Yes, we are victorious. Come on, somebody. Are you hearing this? It's not the government that gave you victory. You are not free by independence of the government. You are not free by the salary. You are not free by them. You are free because glory be to God who has given you victory. You are not free by a pastor. You are not free by a prophet. You are not free by an evangelist. You are not free by a teacher. You are not free by an apostle. You are free by Jesus Christ who has given you victory. You are no longer a slave. You are no longer in sin because you are far above Far above, far above, glory to God. Your marriage is settled. Your wedding is settled. Your education is settled. Your business is settled. Your marriage is settled. Your career is settled. Your life is settled. Glory be to God. Your promotion is settled. Your job is settled. Glory be to God. You are not at disadvantage. God is in you. Jesus is with you. Come on, somebody shout. Why are they looking for your life at all ends? 
They are checking your mistake everywhere. Forget about them. They want to know your past before they mingle with you. Forget about them. The Bible says all things has passed away. Behold, the new has come. I don't care what I did yesterday. I am not living in my yesterday. I am living in the future. Because Christ died for me. And if Christ be for me, who can be against me? I am not negotiating with a man. I have the Bible as my constitution. I am living by section 1 of book of John. Subsection 1. As I read. Are you hearing what I am saying? If God, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you hearing this? Why are they condemning you? The Bible says in Constitution, Romans chapter 8, uh, the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, we are covered. In Christ Jesus, we are protected. In Christ Jesus, we are overcomers. In Christ Jesus, we are going further. In Christ Jesus, we have our job. In Christ Jesus, we have our marriages. In Christ in Christ Jesus, we have our children. In Christ Jesus, prosperity. In Christ Jesus, we are holy. In Christ Jesus! Tell your neighbor, that's why you see me like this now. <laughs> the Bible says he is not a God of the dead, but he's the God of the living. I don't care what your theology tells you, but I have no apology to what I say. I will do my best as a man of God to teach you the word of God to come alive. Gone are the days whereby your life is full of complaint. No, no, no. Tell your neighbor, no, 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 no. no. Say there's nothing like come and plain. You know, complain. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You come, but you are planning something. Say, no, 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 no. <laughs> Say, not me. not me. Say, look at me. Look at me. Is your neighbor really looking at you? <laughs> so the, 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 the reigns of God is what we need to know before we pray. And so now we know that the reign to which we live, we have a border case. With the heavenly realms. The Bible says that Jesus ascended far above principalities and powers. That means the, the junction, the checkpoints, all the blockage, all the roadblocks, he ascended far above them. Some of you, you have given too much attention to your problem. And so Satan sees it as a weak point. Satan knew if it is headache, you used to be trouble. So every evening he will come. I once told the devil, I said, I have no case with you. Either in sickness, in living, in whatever, I have no case with you. Tell your neighbor, ignore the devil. Some of you, the devil know that the only time you will fight with your family is when you don't have money. He will block every, every side of the money and say, okay, today I engage you for fight. Say, no, I refuse temptation. I will not fight anybody. Say, okay, we will see. Sorry, darling, I don't mean to shout, but because of the situation. Not because of the situation, something happened outside. There's a man, there's a demon that knew that when this thing happened to you, this is what you behave. Tell your neighbor, not me. Say, I dodge. I dodge. <laughs> Do we go to the scripture? Yes. Are you enjoying the service or we should go? So the Bible says, In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, So that you should know the realm you should follow. Did you see? Now, tell your neighbor, we have three fathers. Number one father, he live in this heaven. 
Say number two father is our biological father. Number three father is a spiritual father. 